Hi, this is Lloyd Tran. I'm the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is not new. It's been around for at least 40 years since uh, Professor Richard Feynman, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in uh, Physics, that back in the year 1959, Dr. Richard Raymond gave a talk at Caltech in California that um, there is a lot of room for in the bottom. What he's saying that there are a lot of room for us to explore in the matters. When you look at the subject, there's a lot of things that we do not understand. How things work, how things make up, and how to make it better uh, for the uh, things work better. Since early 1960s, there are a lot of research had been studied on the basic understanding of the matter. From then, uh, that back in early 1981, was the year of the discovery of a scanning electron microscope, like the machine that we see in the background here. The SEM was discovered in the early 1980s, enabled scientists to observe and understand how things work in the experiment in real life. Since then, the discovery of atomic fork microscope in the mid-1980s, and the discovery of the buckyball carbon tube in uh, late 1986, in which a uh, Nobel Prize was given to Professor Richard Smalley and his colleagues from Rice University, and Professor uh, Kroko from Sussex University. Three of them were awarded the Nobel Prize for the discovery of uh, buckyball, which is a very fascinating uh, compound. Uh, buckyball is like carbon tube. It uh, has the strength 10 times stronger than steel and the weight in about 16 times less weight than steel. With us, a wonder product we can use in many industrial applications. Since then, uh, tremendous research has been uh, developed and progress been made in the field of the tube, the discovery of uh, quantum dots uh, and many other nanostructure products allow scientists research to open the new field of uh, application, not only for the industry, semiconducting, medical field, homeland security, um, consumer product as well. In a nutshell, over the past uh, four decades, nanotechnology started from the very early development to become a very strong with a lot of funding from the government. The US government uh, so far invests about average $1.5 billion a year. Also, industry of the past uh, several years have invested more than $8 billion a year. This is Lloyd Tran from the California Institute of Nanotechnology.